water droplets that cast a dime down the vine. August 9th, I was abused, beat to pulp, raped, and then killed. And then on that Thursday, I accompanied the garbage, robed in a black bag with all diminished matter. They all cried I must have been dressed in a provocative attire. Old as I am, I'm in layers that kiss my ankles. Young as I was, I wore a diaper. Expressively so, I wore a tight dress. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I wore an outfit that coordinated the weather. Assault me for being human. He limped forward. And first he ran his desiccated fingers along my face, down my genitals, shoving, rummaging, and pillaging around my pride. He then studied the area that surrounded my pride. And briefly, he moved along my hips, down my thighs, crossing over to the other. Affirmatively, he asked, Young, young lady, am I doing it right, harsh enough, fast enough, satisfying right? And that was consent. I hate the possession of my murder weapon. My neighbor says I appreciate sexual pleasure. Therefore, I must have enjoyed this experience. Why am I crying? My uncle believes I brought it upon myself. My uncle. Two days later, his daughter's turn had ensued. And in the same room, she cried, grabbing onto thy holy book of Christ. I bet he risen different now. It's been a trimester, and now I report. But it's too late. Too late on the timing and tracking of this nation. Your pain has expired. Your pain is insufficient. Your pain must have depleted. Justice only gets served in the early hours. After 12, you don't know who it. It all happened so quick, I didn't even peek. In an ear splitting scenery, and that didn't change a thing. Society is occupied, but never to not skin that about the sky house on my left thigh. My pain was tight lipped. My case skipped, and today, today I celebrate femanity. How ironic, womanhood lost and deprived on Women's Day.